Good morning, WMS students. Today is Monday, April 17th, and this is episode 8 of Eagle TV. Now, off to Brooking with breakfast and lunch. For breakfast this week, we have on Monday, French toast, Tuesday, breakfast bagel, Wednesday, mini waffles, Thursday, breakfast sandwich, and Friday, an oatmeal bar. And for lunch this week, on Monday, we have egg rolls, Tuesday, we have pulled pork, Wednesday, pizza breadsticks, Thursday, chicken drumsticks, and on Friday, mini corn dogs. Hi, it's Ava, and I'm back with this week's weather. On Monday, we're going to have a high of 39 and a low of 34 with some snow showers, which is shocking because it's April. On Tuesday, we're going to have a high of 52 and a low of 38, partly cloudy. On Wednesday, we're going to have a high of 65 and a low of 47, also partly cloudy. On Thursday, we're going to have a high of 67 and a low of 46 with some rain showers. And then finally, on Friday, we're going to have a high of 62 and a low of 45, cloudy. And that's all for this, this week's weather. Welcome everyone to the Fun Pack segment of Eagle News. Today, I'm going to talk to you about tropical rainforests. Fact number one, most of the animals living in tropical rainforests live in the trees. There they can find all of their necessities and rarely have to come down to the floor of the forest. Fact number two, the Amazon rainforest is the largest tropical rainforest in the world. It is so big that if it, if it were a country, it would be the ninth biggest country in the world. The Amazon rainforest covers an enormous 6.7 million square kilometers, spanning eight countries. Fact number three, the two types of rainforests are temperate and tropical temperate rainforests. Temperate rainforests are cooler than tropical rainforests. You would be able to find temperate rainforests in places such as New Zealand, Western North America, and Southeastern Australia. They are usually near cooler coastal areas. Tropical rainforests are very hot and are found near the equator. You can find tropical rainforests in Australia, Central and South America, Southeast Asia, Western and Central Africa, Western India, and the island of New Guinea. Fact number four, rainforests are home to half of all the living animal and plant species on the planet. It is home to around 40,000 plant species, nearly 1,300 bird species, 3,000 types of fish, 427 species of mammals, and 2.5 million different insects. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel, with the fun facts. Now off to Lydia with events. I'm Lydia and I'm here with the events for this week. First off, I would like to say that my guess that Miami um, would win out of the final four was absolutely wrong. That was such a bad guess. Um, my bad, I'll know better next time. Also, this week is Earth Week. Thursday, April 20th from 8.45 to 12.30, there's going to be a campus cleanup with high schoolers. Also on Earth Day, there will be an entire campus cleanup after lunch uh, with everybody. Um, on Monday, in your ELs, you should be receiving your Earth Day shirts if you got one. The school store is also the 19th, and then the senior trip is the 19th through the 22nd. My father's son didn't eat any pie. What's your favorite kind of pie? Ooh. That's a really good question. Do I have to pick one? One or two. All right, well then, I'm gonna have to say strawberry, rhubarb, and pumpkin. That's a, those are pretty good ones. Do you like pudding? I do. Do you like banana cream pudding? Ooh, yes, that's right. That's my favorite. What's invisible that you wish people could see? I have no clue. Brandon, are you going to prom? Sure, yeah, let's do that. Are you going to prom with anybody? I would like to. I haven't asked yet. Do you feel comfortable saying whom? That's a surprise for prom. Fair enough. I'm here with Miss Nada, and I'm here to ask her, what's your favorite decade and why? I would say my favorite decade is the 1980s because that's when I got married, and that's when both of my kids were born. That's a really good reason. Yeah. Lasagna, pizza, or spaghetti? <laughs> Pizza, obviously, because you can always change the toppings. It's a whole different meal. And it's better. It's good refrigerated. Day after. Leftovers. Day after pizza is great. Yep, pizza leftovers are awesome. What's your favorite candy that's blue? Favorite candy. Blue gummy bears. Blue gummy, all gummy bears. 
Oh, those are really good. They are. Angelie's going to be trying this muscle thingy today, so go ahead and put it on your arm. And stick it on there real good. Other one, too. Okay, are you ready? No. But you have to, like, give consent. <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay, ready? Can you feel anything? No. Oh, ew, no, I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're gonna take it off. What starts with E and ends with E but only has one letter in it? I don't know. An envelope. I'm here with Miss Holly and I'm going to ask her a question. What's the importance of Earth Day? Oh gosh, the importance of Earth Day is that we as a society take one day out of every year to celebrate the Earth doing Earth friendly activities. Here at West Michigan Academy, we plant trees, um, we do a campus cleanup, we spend the month of April learning about the Earth and how we can positively affect it. All right, thank you. Take care of the Earth, guys. What is the importance of Earth Day? Um, to help the Earth and like, you know, help it. Can you give an example of helping the Earth? Like cleaning up trash, planting trees. What is your favorite environmental thing to do? My favorite environmental thing to do is clean up parks. Ah, oh, that goes with our Earth Week theme. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Hannah and she's going to tell us the importance of Earth Day. Picking up trash off the street. Well, why is it important? Um, to help the earth. Good job. I'm here with Darren, and I'm going to ask him a question about Earth Day. What is the importance of Earth Day? Uh, to help the earth and... Um... And what is something you can do to help the earth? Stop cutting down trees. Good answer. I'm here to talk to Ms. Baxter and Ms. Silvera about Family Literacy Night. So when is Family Literacy Night? Family Literacy Night is Thursday, April 20th from 5 to 6.30 p.m. here all around campus. Okay. And who all can attend this? All families. <laughs> all families. New, old, current, everyone. Okay. And what is, like, what is the point of Family Literacy Night? <laughs> so... <laughs> um, as you guys know, I want you all to read very, very much. And as my job as a literacy coach, I have to promote reading and I always do anyway. So it's more of a time to come out and enjoy not only getting to read things, but also getting to walk around our campus and seeing all the cool things we have and maybe reading a little bit about them and getting some information um, on different reading things um, and activities. And so what can students and families do while they're here? Um, so you get to geocache around campus. Um, we have important parts of our campus that we feel that you guys utilize and like to share with your parents about. So you'll get to go to each cache, um, teach your parents about what you do there, why is this important um, to your learning, and then act in actual geocache, take one, trade one, um, all throughout the campus. All right, so that sounds really fun. So everybody come to Family Literacy Night on the 20th. Now off to Lydia with senior segment. I'm Lydia and I'm here with my senior for my senior segment, Hafat. My first question is, what are your plans after high school? Uh, probably just get a job. I like that plan. My second question is, what is your least favorite insect? Uh, spiders are definitely up there. I agree. My third question is, what is your favorite type of cereal? Captain Crunch is the best cereal if you don't like it. Absolutely. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. You just suck. Boom. So what's going on in the wonderful world of Mr. Hunter? Actually, there was some pretty big news. Did you hear about the guy who invented the knock-knock joke? No. He just won the Nobel Prize. And that was episode 8 of Eagle TV. I'm Brooklyn. And Hunnick. And we'll see you next, next week. week. <laughs> I'm Lydia and I'm here with the events for this week. 
What was I gonna say? <laughs> and then also, Earth Day, there's gonna be an all campus cleanup after lunch. Good morning, WMS students. Today is Monday. Thank you, Daniel, with the fun facts. Now, off to the video with Rick first. No, no, no. <laughs> My. Uh. <laughs> no. For breakfast this week is breakfast. Oh. Tuesday pulled pork with bun. Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Honic, stop the video. <laughs> Um, I lied. No, no.